Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome back to part two of choosing a new pot for my bird's nest spruce. David, who made the new pot for my African style sarissa bonsai, has offered to make me another pot, so I'm very excited. And I've chosen my bird's nest spruce. It's been in this plastic pot for forever, 20 years. And I think it's time it got a nice clay pot. In part one of this series, I talked a little bit about what I was looking for in a new pot. Because this is a slanting style bonsai, I need something fairly strong at the base so it doesn't look too delicate and it won't look like it's going to tip over in the wind. So let's go into a photo editing software now and start to look at some of the possibilities for a new pot style. Here's the photo that I took of my bird's nest spruce. So the first step is to isolate the tree and the pot from the background. So I'll just trace a little mask around it and then delete the background and replace it with black or I could choose white or whatever I want. Let's begin to have a look at all the different pot possibilities for the tree. I'm going to start with the ones that I like the least and kind of work up to my favorites. So here we go. Here's a look at the first pot I'm trying out. It's an oval shaped pot with kind of a quilted pattern in it. Um, it's a little too reddish a color for this tree. It needs to be more of a kind of a grayish red. Uh, yeah, it's just too bright for the tree. And the quilted pattern in the side just overpowers the tree, so it's not very suitable. And I think shown here, I probably have it a little large for what would be best for the tree, but yeah, I, I don't like it at all. Here's pot number two, kind of a oval shaped landscape pot, a cream color, which doesn't really go with anything on the tree. Um, it kind of overpowers the trunk of the tree, which is the interesting part of this tree. And all your attention goes to the landscape and the pot rather than the tree itself. It's just too overpowering. And that color doesn't really match anything on the tree. Here's pot number three now. And I, I thought I'd try out the pot kind of matching the color of the foliage. And it's not too bad. It, uh, it kind of ties the canopy of the tree into the base of the tree nicely. It's not a bad color. Um, is it the best? I don't know. Um, and the pot is maybe still a little large in this picture. I should have scaled it down a bit more, but... Um, and this pot kind of is all rounded. It doesn't really have any definition. You've got kind of this rough bark and rough kind of tree trunk and then you've got this really smooth smooth pot and I don't think the two match. I think it's just it, like it, it doesn't look too bad but it's it's not the pot I don't think. Here's a look at pot number four. It's a landscape oval shaped pot. Uh, it's kind of got fancy feet. A shallower pot than the last one I tried, the cream colored one. And it's kind of got a speckled glaze which is a nicer glaze I think for this tree. I think still it's too large. It, it draws your attention to the landscape rather than the trunk of the tree. And I, I think again it's just too much landscape and not enough tree is my feeling. And that color it doesn't go with anything. So not very suitable. Even if this pot was a different color I, I still don't think it would look that good. Here's pot number five now, kind of a rounded drum pot um, with the rivets along the top and a kind of a lip. Um, it's looking okay. I think it's too smooth. To me, it looks like it's, you know, when the wind blows, it would kind of roll around. It doesn't look stable enough. And maybe it looks a little too heavy for the tree also. I. Uh, I think the color is good. You can see the color matches the trunk really nicely. But again, I, I think, you know, with the tree, it's all rough. It's got rough needles and a rough trunk. And then you've got this nice smooth pot. And I, I don't think it goes, it goes well with the tree. Here's pot number six. And pot number six kind of surprised me. I just thought I'd try this pot out. And it's a taller pot. Uh, 
very small in diameter, but it looks quite good with the tree. I, I was surprised. I think there's a little too much of the reddish color on the pot. If it was a little darker, I think it would look quite nice. Again, it's a smooth pot. I, I don't think that really suits the tree all that much, but I was surprised with this pot. It looks quite nice, actually. It uh, really shows the tree off nicely. Here's pot number seven. Again, I was trying to match the foliage with the color of the pot. And it's a rougher pot. It's not a very smooth pot. It kind of has texture in it and maybe some sharper lines and corners. So I think this one's not bad. I think if the tree were in this pot, I don't think anyone would say, you know, that pot doesn't go with the tree. I think it does go with the tree quite nicely. And again, this one sort of surprised me a bit how, you know, the green color actually looks quite nice with the uh, tree. It, uh, it kind of matches the foliage and, you know, with everything, the moss and the foliage and the pot, the green color, it really brings out the trunk. The trunk's the only thing that's not green and it really shows it off. So again, this one sort of surprised me and it looks quite nice and I think it would be a, a fine choice for a pot for this tree. Here's pot number eight now. And this is another one that really surprised me. This looks like a wood-fired pot. It looks very similar to raised pots uh, with that kind of glaze on it and the coloration and that. And the pot kind of matches the deadwood on the trunk. And I was surprised that it, it looks as good as it does uh, this image. I, again, I think if you planted the tree in this pot, I think it, it's a good match. Um, this is quite a smooth pot, but I think the kind of the rough glaze offsets that a bit. So it's, it's not bad. I, I think it looks quite good, at least in this photo. I mean, in real life, it might look a little different, but, uh, I think that's a nice match. And that's something I'll keep in mind that, well, maybe, you know, the pot can highlight the deadwood on the trunk. Maybe that's what I should go for rather than a dark pot. So it was interesting. Again, another pot that surprised me that it looked quite nice. Here's a kind of a short squarish type pot, um, a fairly fancy pot and has a lot of kind of corners and features on it that kind of match the trunk. I think it's a pretty good style for this tree. And I kind of like the height and the size of it. I think it really shows off the trunk of the tree. Um, the color isn't bad. It could be maybe just a little less reddish, but it's not bad. I mean, it's quite nice. I think, you know, the tree would look excellent in a pot like this. It, it looks really good and, and a really nice finished look to the whole thing. Um, yeah, so up there, getting up near the top of my favorites. Here's pot number nine. And this pot has, it's quite a fancy pot. It has, you know, a pronounced lip and rounded sides and quite fancy feet. Kind of a dark, maybe a little too yellowish of a clay. Maybe it needs more of a, a brown or a red in it, but the pot looks okay. Uh, I, I might have this one out of order. I don't think it's should be as high on the in the order as it is, but uh, it does, it looks quite nice. It, it looks stable, uh, maybe because the pot is quite large, especially with the boat out sides or edges on it. It looks very planted. Uh, the tree looks stable in the pot and, you know, with the right color on the clay, it, it could look quite nice. I, I don't think it looks bad at all, but I don't think it should be this high on the, uh, in the order. It's maybe down with the, you know, in the three or four section. Here's a look at pot number 10, a traditional kind of drum shaped pot. Uh, lots of texture on the pot to match the trunk of the tree. A nice dark color, uh, almost, you know, a dark, dark brown. Uh, it looks really good with the tree, really matches the colors in the trunk. Uh, the straight sides look quite nice because it is a fairly angular tree. 
uh, no fancy feet or anything. It just it just looks good with the tree. I, I think it looks very traditional, um, something you would see in a bonsai show. Um, yeah, so right up there, I, I think it looks really good with this tree. Here's pot number 11. Again, a fairly square looking pot, but a little longer, more of a rectangular pot, but still kind of square looking. Um, it's a nice, nice size. I, I think it has nice weight there. A nice simple design. It Maybe it's a little too reddish, but I think the style looks really good. I, I think a nice angular pot like this looks quite fine with the tree. It has just enough kind of softness in the corners that it kind of matches the trunk, the shape of the trunk, that kind of chamfered off corners. So yeah, another, another good choice. That's why it's up quite high at number 11. I, I think maybe a little too reddish, maybe the darker, you know, almost the dark chocolate color would look better, but uh, very cool. Here's pot number 12 now. And again, a fairly square pot, fairly tall and very angular, this pot, straight sides, you know, slight rounding on the corners, very kind of straight, straight cut feet. Um, and again, it looks quite nice. It looks stable in this pot. It's a good size for the tree. Uh, it looks well, well balanced. It kind of offsets the weight of the tree, the canopy going to the right with a good solid base under it. And I think this color is better for the tree. Um, that kind of darkish color looks quite good. Maybe a, more of an earth tone or a dark earth tone. Yeah, it, it would look quite nice in this in this pot. Here's pot number 13 now. And this is where things kind of get interesting. Uh, this pot is made of clay, but it's made to look like kind of a stone texture. And it really suits the tree. It, it gives it that landscape look. Uh, it looks very rugged, the pot. It matches the ruggedness of the trunk. It gives that kind of mountain feel or northern landscape feel. And it really suits the tree, I think. Um, again, this is one I just decided to try, see how it looks, and it, it surprised me a lot how good it looked. Now, this is the reverse angle. I flipped the pot around, mirrored it, and it looks even better. So let's go to pot number 14, my favorite of all the pots we've tried out so far, I think. Here's a look at pot number 14, my favorite pot so far. So again, it's the same kind of stone texture. I really like the way the pot angles down towards the right-hand side and the trunk goes up towards the right-hand side and they kind of mirror each other. So you get that nice V-shaped negative space in between the trunk and the pot it almost looks like the reflection of the tree in water or something. It's very symmetrical and I kind of like that. I like the fact that it's longer on the right hand side the pot. It gives the tree balance. It looks very stable. Uh, it, it gives a good look to the whole planting. It's almost like a miniature slice of nature or a, a penjing. Um, I think the pot is a nice color for the trunk. I think that texture looks really good. I'd have no complaints if I saw this tree planted in a pot like this. I think it's quite a beautiful composition. And I, I think it looks, of all the pots that we've looked at, I think this is the most pleasing artistically. I think it just, it's almost like a match made in heaven. So, yeah, so maybe something like this. Now I'll have to talk to David and see if he can make something like this because it, it'd be quite a challenge. It's uh, not an easy task to make a pot that kind of looks like this and has that texture and color and everything. So, But yeah, I, I think of all the compositions, I think this is maybe not the most traditional, but I think it's the most artistic and I think it it's my top pick. So let me know what you think. If uh, you agree with my choices, uh, I'm not saying any of them are bad. I'm just saying it's what kind of appeals to me. And maybe some of those are out of order. Um, I tried to kind of go from my least favorite to my favorite and maybe I'll change my mind. You never know. But uh, 
that's my choices for now. And I haven't tried every pot design in the world, so I'll keep exploring it. I, you know, if I find another pot that I look at it and I say, oh, that one might suit the uh, bird's nest spruce, I'll try it out. So bringing your tree into a, a photo editing software like this is a great way to try out different styles of pots, different sizes, different colors, textures, everything. Trying to find that nice match for your tree because I don't have all these pots laying around doing nothing that I can try the tree out in the pot and see what looks best. So this is the best I can do, uh, bringing an image in into a photo editing software and trying it out there. And then, you know, basing your purchase or getting a pot made based on an image like this. And, you know, it's going to look pretty good. Uh, real life is a little different than looking at a still picture of a tree, but it gives you a really good guide in picking out a pot. That was a look at some of the possible pots for my bird's nest spruce. Some of the different styles and colors and textures. I'll have a tough choice ahead of me deciding on just one pot for it. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>